this video we're going to look at applications of solving linear equations um, uh, look at some angles and an example on water pressure in the ocean so with example one we'll look at angles of a triangle so um, you've got a triangle here and it just says 2x plus 5 beside this angle and 4x plus 5 beside this angle okay what you need to know for one thing is that this symbol here and, and by all means please draw this triangle okay what you need to know is that when you've got a corner and this um, it, it's drawn as a completed square that means that this corner is a is a perfect corner it's a perfect square corner and uh, it means that its angle measured is 90 degrees okay so this angle here is 90 degrees and that's a perfect corner and your house should have lots of 90 degree angles in it like where the wall joins the floor and, and so on so um, if you add up the other thing you need to know is if you add up all the angles of a triangle they make what? Did you know you know what they make? If you add up all the angles of a triangle, they'll make 180 degrees. Okay. So um, if you add the first angle plus this next angle plus the next angle, those three angles, if you add this, this and this, these three angles together, you'll get 180 degrees. Okay and that is how we set up the equation. We add the three angles together to get 180 degrees. Now the first angle is 2x plus 5. The next angle we've got 4x plus 5 plus 90 and they all add up to 180 degrees. Now by all means press pause and solve this equation and see if you can get the right answer. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So what we need to do is simplify the left-hand side before we solve it, okay, before we solve the equation. So what we're going to do is add like terms, uh, simplify each side. So, so I'll write that down. We're going to simplify uh, both sides, or in this case, well, simplify before you solve, basically, or no, in other words, uh, add like terms. Okay, so that's the key here. Add like terms. So just going to go over examples two and three in this video of complementary and supplementary angles, uh, applications of real life solving equations. So uh, let's have a look at example two. Write this down. This is a perfect corner because they've given you this. Um, perfect square here you see in the corner to show you this is a perfect corner it's a 90 degree um, right angle okay so if you draw this this angle here the blue angle is a measure of 5x degrees and this red angle measure is 13x minus 18 degrees okay can you come up with an equation okay for this situation knowing that the whole angle all of this the whole angle is 90 degrees so this this whole angle here is 90 degrees the whole way down is 90 degrees okay this part is 5x degrees this part is 13x minus 18 degrees so can you come up with an equation for this okay press pause if you need more time to come up with an equation Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we can say that this angle measure 5x plus the 13x minus 18 added together give the total angle, right angle of 90 degrees. Okay? The little circle sign in the top right just means degrees. Okay? It's not a number or anything. 
So we have an equation and we need to solve it. Um, of course, I don't need the degrees in here in the equation, just need to leave it as 90, right? So first thing to do is add like terms or simplify both sides, okay? So can we add like terms on the left? Go ahead and add like terms on the left and what do you get? So on the left of the equation we get we have 5x and 13x Now if we add those together what do we get? 5 and 13 18 we get 18x, right? And we have a number minus 18. Minus 18 equals 90. Now press pause and solve the equation from here. Or go ahead and solve the equation from here. What do you get? So don't we add 18 to both sides? And we'll get 18x equals 108. Did you get that? And now we divide both sides by 18. Okay. And we have x equals, and this fraction can be put in lowest terms, can't it? Right, so we could divide top and bottom by 2, for example. 2 into 18 goes 9 times. 2 into 10, what's 2 into 10? 5. And what's 2 into 8? 4, right? So this is 54 over 9. Can you put that in, simplify that even more? 9 into 9 goes one time, 9 into 54 goes 6 times. 6 9's makes 54. So the, uh, this equals 6 over 1 or 6, right? So the missing number is x, right? Uh, the uh, x is the is 6, right? So to actually find the value of the angles themselves, we can use the answer, okay? So 5x was one angle, okay? And 5x, you got to plug in the value of x, and then you'll figure out what that angle measure was, right? The, the, this blue 5x degrees, okay? Also, the other one, 13x minus 18 degrees, this angle measure, okay, if you plug x into him, 13 times x minus 18, you'll find out the angle measure of the red angle, the 13 minus, 13x minus 18 uh, degree angle, okay? So you can take x equals 6 and plug it into this and this to figure out both angles. Does that make sense? So the blue angle becomes what and the red angle becomes what? See if you can calculate each of those. So the blue angle becomes 30 degrees, right? And the red angle becomes 13 times 6, um, 18 and 60, 78. 78 minus 18, 60 degrees, right? Of course, 30 plus 60 would be 90. So this one was 30 degrees, and this one was 60 degrees, right? So 30 degrees from here to here, 60 degrees from here to here, and 90 degrees overall. Right? Does that make sense? And these are called complementary angles. Two angles that add to give 90 degrees would be complementary angles. Right? Let's take a look at supplementary angles. Um, you can take this down if you like. Two angles that add to 180 degrees are supplementary angles. So we got 11x minus 18 degrees and 10x plus 30 degrees, right? And this is half of a circle. A full circle is 360 degrees, right? Full circle would be all the way around be 360 degrees. But this is half a circle, that's 180 degrees, okay? Half of 360, right? 
so th this full angle measure is 180 degrees. That's the whole way around. Okay, the whole way around is 180 degrees. Um, this part is 11x minus 18 degrees. This part is 10x plus 30. Can you write down an equation to represent this? In other words, can you write down an equation to say that this angle, the red and the blue angle, make 180 together? Does that make sense? In other words, this red angle plus this blue angle give 180 degrees, right? Can you write down the equation? Okay, I hope you tried it. You could write 11x minus 18. Oops. 11x minus 18 plus the 10x plus 30 give 180 degrees altogether. Okay, and then we can add like terms and solve. Okay. So go ahead, press pause and solve this equation. Press pause and solve the equation by yourself. What do you get? Okay, I'll do it now. So we need to remember to add like terms. We've got 11x here, we've got a 10x here. We've got to add the x's together. 11x and 10x make so many x's. 21x. Then we've got to add the numbers. We've got a negative 18 and a plus 30. Add those guys together. What do we get? 30 minus 18, positive 12, right? So you should have 21x plus 12 equals, equals 180. And now can you solve the equation from here? Press pause and solve it from here. Okay, I'll do it now. So we need to subtract 12 from both sides. That'll give 21x equals 168. Then we divide both sides by 21 and that will give x equals, and it gets x here by the way because the 21's cross cancel, and x equals what? Well, let's see. Can we put this in lowest terms? If you know your times tables, the minute you see 21 you'll think, okay, that's 7 times 3, right? So you'll think, well, let's see if 3 goes into 168, because I know 3 goes into 21 7 times, okay? What's 3 into 16? Block off the 8 and tell me what is 3 into 16. 3 into 16 goes 5 times. What's the remainder? 3 into 16 goes 5 times. Remainder 1. So put the 1 there. Now what's 3 into 18? 3 into 18 goes 6 times. So we get 56 over 7. And can you simplify that even further? 56 divided by 7 is 8. Okay, So x equals 8 is the answer. That's the value of x. Now the value of the angles themselves, we've got a red angle and a blue angle. Okay, And we can calculate the value of each angle themselves. So this one would be 11 times x minus 18. And we said that x is 8. So this would be 11 times 8 minus 18. What would the other one be? How would you get this angle? 10x plus 30. This one you'd go 10 times x plus 30. Okay, and you'd plug 8 in for x. Right? So the red angle, we're getting 11. What's 11 times 8? 88 minus 18, which is 70 degrees, right? What about the blue angle? We're getting 10 times 8 is 80 plus 30, which is 110, right? So this one is 110 degrees, right? And do these add up to 180? What's 70 plus 110? That's 180 degrees altogether, right? So we find x, and, but we can also find the value of each angle, the 11x minus 18 and the 10x plus 30, right?